I am in a position in my life where I feel like I have nothing to lose in a positive or in a negative or in a positive way. The reason why I say that is because, frankly, I, I, I'm afraid of showing myself. I'm afraid of what my family and my friends will think. But had I kept all the videos I've deleted in the past, I probably would have had a decent or bigger following by now. And I've revealed a lot of stuff. I had a breakdown that I fucking filmed and I regret not keeping it in spite of whatever you or anyone else might think of that, you know. I regret it because it would have been so much more ballsier to have kept it. And it would have meant so much more. We want to show people our best. <laughs> I don't know how to make videos. I don't know what people want. I don't know. I feel like I don't know anything. I know nothing. I feel like I barely belong anywhere. And I've been hiding myself for most of my life for reasons I can't even explain without, no, I can't really explain it. <laughs> I could tell you all these stories, but I don't even think it would actually really explain it. I just knew, I have just known that I have been choosing to hide myself for most of my life. And now that I feel not so much that I don't have anything to lose, that that's an element, it's more that like, <sighs> I just have to, I can't hide forever. Like whatever I think is so embarrassing about me and there's a lot of stuff that I think is kind of embarrassing about me that I'm embarrassed about. That shouldn't really be, like it's not embarrassing to other people, but to me it is relative to who I have been and who I am. Like the difference between who I am and who I've been is quite big in my eyes. I can't. Like, all I have to offer is myself. I can't now of anything. Like, I have no idea who's watching. I don't know if anyone, it's not that I don't even know if anyone would care. Like, I've, I've never given people the chance to care about me. Because I always delete the videos or I hide or I do stuff to like, and so I, I, I put myself in a situation where I always feel like I'm just screaming in a vacuum because I'll p upload videos of me talking and then I'll delete them before anyone says anything. Before, it's always the music. I'm not shy to put music up and I'll happily put music and remixes and whatever. I'm happy to do that whenever I make them, but it's never the music. It's always me. Whenever it's me, I regret it. Whenever it's me, whenever it's a video of me talking or showing my face or anything, I regret it. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Why? I feel so much like shame about myself. And so that's why I'm resolving to celebrating myself now. And I'm gonna be posting a lot more of just me. Cause I have to, cause I can't live like this man. <laughs> like I haven't been able to, I haven't expressed so many things and even like, yeah, there's so much stuff I haven't expressed. And mainly it's my personality that I don't let people enjoy because I always delete it or hide it or do stuff to like try and obscure it so people don't know about me. It's like I'm a secret agent in my own life. I mean, I might as well be. At this point, I'm not even running from anyone. <laughs> Like I'm a secret agent in my own life running from myself. <laughs> I'm a double agent within my own body. I... <laughs> Man. I... 
I just can't, I can't fail at this. I'm just going to have to keep uploading video after video. I just can't fail. I, I just have to keep uploading myself. And if people think I'm crazy, then, then I'm fucking crazy. I just, I just can't fail anymore. I can't, I can't like, I can fail and like, I can succeed and fail. I can succeed and fail at things that don't really matter to me. But this, like, I have failed myself so many times. Like, I can't tell you how many times I have pulled the plug on myself in terms of sharing my opinions, my thoughts, my feelings, me, like, I am just going to pour my heart and soul into this YouTube channel. The way I'm going to do that is me talking. Because that's all I know. That's all, that's all that's coming to me right now. And if that's a lot, it's a lot. Sorry. I don't know what else to do. I just know I want to give. And the thing that needs to be given is myself. Because that's the one thing I'm... Like, I, I, I can't lock myself away anymore. I can't do it. I actually can't do it. Like I can't, if people think I'm weird or crazy, I, I'm just over it. I, then I'm insane. Whatever, you know, crazy guy in his room. I just, I'm so done. And I feel like I have, and, and save all the, Oh my God, are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. This is what I want to do. Like, I want my legacy to be built out of me being vulnerable and honest and showing myself. And this is part of it. And I don't need fucking help. I don't need, this is what I want to do. Yeah, I'm not doing great, but that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. Support me, man. <laughs> if you if you really want to say, oh my God, what's wrong? Or, you, you look troubled. You look sad. Just subscribe or go away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because this is what I'm doing. And I'm open to criticism to some extent. Well, I mean, say whatever you like, but and if it's constructive, I'll probably do it. I was taught to think that I was above people like Trisha Paytas and Tana Mongao and Paul Lo Logan Paul and attention seekers or whatever. I was, I was taught to be above that. That I was, I was taught that I was above. I'm not. I want attention just like anyone else. Man. I want attention, I think, more than most people, but I don't give myself it. I don't let myself have it. So. It is. It's what I'm doing, and. Yeah, I hope it. I hope it means something to someone. <laughs>